Hi guys this is Harsh and today I'll be talking about the difference between internal fragmentation and external fragmentation but before we start if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do so well some of you may be preparing for your exams and won't have much time to watch the entire video so i decided to keep this slide first so you can go through this and skip the video if you are in a hurry but for those who aren't let's understand this better earlier computers did only mono programming some part of the memory was used by os and the rest was left for storing user program at a time only one program was loaded hence it was mono programming but now computers support multi programming and many programs reside in the memory to distribute memory among different processes we have two methods fixed partitioning and dynamic partitioning in fixed partitioning we divide the memory into blocks of fixed size in dynamic partitioning we divide the memory based on the size of process and not into fixed size blocks in this case we have divided the user space memory into blocks of 10 kb each while here we have divided into variable sized blocks based on the size of the process internal fragmentation it arises when we use fixed partitioning technique here the memory is divided into fixed size blocks decided by the system administrator some part of the memory is kept for operating system and the rest is used for user space in this case the user space memory is divided into blocks of 10 kb each when process 1 with size 8 kb is allocated a block of 10 kb 2 kb space is left when process 2 of 10 kb is allocated 10 kb the entire space is used and no space is left unused when process 3 of 9 kb is allocated a block of 10 kb 1 kb space is left unused in this case two processes are allocated space more than required and this unused space is called internal fragmentation external fragmentation it arises when dynamic partitioning technique is used here memory is allocated to the processes dynamically based on their size so here the user space contains process 1 2 and 3 out of which process 1 and 3 complete their execution and are swapped out and other two processes process 4 and process 5 are swapped in process 4 takes place of process 1 but as its size is only 8 kb it is allocated only 8 kb and rest 4 kb is left unused similarly when process 5 takes place of process 3 it is allocated 6 kb space and 2 kb is left unused now suppose if a new process process 6 wants to be swapped in and its size is 6 kb though we have total 6 kb space left but we cannot service this request as those blocks are not contiguous or adjacent this is called external fragmentation if you like my video please like it share it and if you want me to make videos on certain topics please leave some comments down below thank you